Best not to draw these fools dead stand in her path. on this warpath. He was the last to die. Several wounds. This one put up a fight. Briefly, I suspect. He knocked into this rock. Most likely dead upon impact. Asa caught up to Calda. His warriors moved in while he pushed on. But Asa tore through them like a whirlwind. The trail of the dead reveals her direction. Calda's too. And most importantly, the Salakars. They are headed west. Freya wonders why I have always refused to take her on a tour of that scorched dial. Asa and Calder fought here. Blood was spilt. Two sets of footprints. One is stretched, like someone fled. The other closer together, uneven and lined with blood. They were hobbling, perhaps. Asa and Calder fought here. He gained the advantage. Foolish girl. Asa, your rage makes you vulnerable. She's hurt, but not enough to stop her. Looks like she followed Calder up that hill. What do you see? The guards here are vigilant. Side of Asa or Calder. Only these curious Yotan buffoons stand in my way. They should run, but they won't.
place a spear, abandoned. Did Calder and his minions finally best her? The dead stag up. For these misspells, Ragnarok came early. or similar, we used to restrain someone. There was a cart here, and drag marks leading to it. Asa chased Kelder into this camp, leaking her lifeblood, blinded by rage and utterly reckless. <sighs> Looks to have cost her too. She came crashing in, mauling whatever half-wits stood between her and Calder. But those half-wits fought back in numbers. Injured and disarmed, she was overpowered and restrained. Calder then had her tossed onto a cart like a sack of turnips. Looks like they fled up that path. What is it Calder plans to do with the little princess now that she is his prisoner? Surely not. These tracks lead west. I must find Calder and the Selikar. For Baldur's sake. Is that you again, mad one? Come to tempt fate, I see. I do not die this day. Can you say the same? <laughs> ah, yes. You've proven once already how you like to strut around, unencumbered by fear. Perhaps... The Salakar did not give you an adequate taste of it. Enough of this blithering. Hand over what is now mine, or shall I just take it? To know fear, we must be subjected to it. When I am through with you, I will take Asa's willful ogre. Soon after, the Salakar will be complete. Then, believe me, you will know fear and pain. Just like your son. Soon you will be surprised when I present him with his own daughter's empty corpse. But I will make sure he knows the truth. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Why is Sutra collecting hookahs? What does he mean to do with the Salakar? Tell me! <clears throat> Why do you aim to finish my work? Ask yourself how much you care to suffer in these final moments. Do your worst. You are wasting your breath. He will not tell you. And he won't have to. His secrets are known to me now. You want them? Move aside. Move aside, or I will destroy it. Traitor! Traitor? It is you who are slaughtering your own kind. What I do, I do for Suta! Such devotion requires a strong Hugar. All these Muspel sacrifices, you needed only look inward. Was he right? About you wanting to complete the Salakar? Sutra will not trade my son for something he cannot use. So you will see it through? To what end? How many lives would you take? For Balda, I would drain all nine realms. Even Asgard. The words of a dreadful king. And a selfless father. It is the one thing that separates you from my own. You wish to reunite with your son. I wish to see my father's plans lie in ruin. No matter the price. Can you see both through? I can. But I will need your help. The Salakar still requires the hooger of a suitable Jotun. Calder never found one. I must get hunting. Do as you will. In the meantime, I'll join my stepmother, wherever she may be. I will try to learn how the Salakar fits into my father's plans. Under the guise of a contrite stepdaughter, of course. Keep it. I will need a way to find you when it is time to confront my father. You and this bauble share a bond. I set out to use you to my advantage. It ends with me in your debt. If it were not for you, I would have never known what my father was capable of. He used our people. Turned them on each other. For his gain. I cannot forgive him. And to that end, I am your ally. In Asgard, an ally is a friend. Let us not get carried away.